Over the past two weeks, I've been putting the Barabi Smart Formula Maker to the test, trying to answer the question, is the Barabi as good or better than its leading competitor, the Baby Brezza? First, we will do an unboxing and then we'll talk specs and assembly. Next, I will share the results of the previous two weeks of testing, and then we're going to put the Barabi and the Brezza head to head and compare the two. Finally, I will give you my impressions and I will answer the question, is the Barabi better than the Brezza? Let's find out. All right, here is the box. We had a little bit of damage on the packaging from shipping, but that's okay. The product inside seems to be fine. All in all, I love the packaging, very high quality. Some nice attention to detail on the inside of the box cover. And it looks like a user manual and a quick start guide. Solid styrofoam packaging on the outside and it looks like the damage that happened on the outside of the box that was just caught up in the styrofoam. So good thing it's here. Wrapped in a nice plastic. Hmm, it looks really nice. It's heavy. In the description it said it was 10.83 pounds, so. All right, and then it looks like we have a funnel to go along with it and the power cord. And that's all that's in this box. First impressions of the unboxing, it looks very high quality, clean, uh, and easy to use. There's not really that many parts, but we're probably gonna have to take it apart and see how the inner workings of the formula mixing portion work. The Barabi has an adjustable tray to fit many sizes of bottles. Let's look inside the powder container. We have some instructions here on the side. I will leave those on for the time being. Inside, we have some more instructions talking about cleaning and assembly. We will put those to the side. The powder container parts are orange and the whole setup looks very similar to the Baby Brezza. Let's take it apart. First, we are going to spin the powder nozzle lock counter or anti-clockwise to unlock it. This leaves us with the powder nozzle and the lock. It looks like to untighten the stirrer, you have to spin it clockwise, and to tighten it back up, you spin it counter or anti-clockwise. We have the bottom spindle, the stator with the silicone scraper, and the measuring wheel. Now let's put it back together. I will start with the bottom spindle. Next is the measuring wheel, followed by the stator, scraper down. There is this little jut that you insert into this slot above the powder container hole. Next, twist the stirrer counter or anti-clockwise to tighten. Now, flip the powder container over and place the powder nozzle in the hole and then attach the nozzle lock by twisting it clockwise. Turn the lid clockwise to close it into place and you are ready to go. Now we will put the assembled powder container in place and add the funnel. This device has an on and off switch next to the power cord insertion point. We will get the power cord attached and assembly is complete. Let's talk specs. The water capacity of the Barabi is 1500 milliliters or 50 ounces of water. The formula capacity is 400 grams or 14.1 ounces. As far as volume sizes of bottles, you can make between a one and eight ounce bottle or 30 and 240 milliliters. As far as temperature options, you have six with the Barabi. Fahrenheit, you have options of 95, 104, 113, 122, 131, and 140. And those same temperatures in Celsius are 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and 60 degrees Celsius. With the Barabi, this is not just a formula maker. There's also a water button, and you can see by these temperatures that you could brew up to, you know, a hot cup of tea, you know, water for a cup of coffee, whatever you need. I think when they designed the Barabi, they had that in mind. How can we make this machine more functional so that it's not just taking up counter space? 
You would not wanna brew a baby bottle at 140 degrees. That's way too hot. I think the 95 degree and the 104 are gonna be where you're brewing your bottles at, or the, I guess it would be 35 or 40 for Celsius. But for the rest of those temperatures, that's quite a range. And I think that makes the Barabi a little bit more flexible. The Barabi has plus and minus buttons. And as far as special alerts that come up to tell you, you know, you need to do something, there is low water, lid open, no bottle, so it won't brew without a bottle underneath it, and no funnel. So if the funnel is not inserted, you've cleaned it, but then you forgot to put it back in, it will not brew a bottle unless you put the funnel back in. On the powder dispenser, there are little side windows on both sides so you can see the powder level. There is not an alert that tells you the powder level is too low. So you can pay attention to that either on these side windows or you're gonna notice when you're out of formula that one of your bottles is looking very weak. So then you'll know, oh, I have to change it. So that's something that you need to pay attention to with the Barabi. In order to look up the powder settings on the Barabi, you have two options. You can either download the app in the app store, or you can go to a website that is listed in the instructions. And all you do is either go to the website and then just put in the information of your formula, or if you are using the app, you can just scan the barcode and it will tell you exactly what powder settings you need to put in to the Barabi so that it's getting the concentration correct. I tested the Barabi with six different formulas. Three of them more of your standard everyday formulas and three of them were more specialty. One had added iron, one was AR or added rice, and one was soy based. I really wanted to test out the different formulas, different brands, A, to see if I could look up the powder settings, B, to see if there was any clumping or any kind of issues with the specialty formulas, and C, people are using different formulas, so I thought it would be more realistic to test this device with a range of formulas. Let's move into the results of my testing. I ran four separate tests on the Barabi Smart Formula Maker, and those are timing, how long does it take to make a bottle with the Barabi at different ounce settings and different temperatures. Next is ease of setup. How easy and fast was it to set up the Barabi and get it ready to go to make your first bottle? Next was cleaning. How easy was it to disassemble and clean and how often did you need to clean the funnel and inside of the powder container? Finally, the results of my real world usage test. I set up two separate tests that kind of simulate what it's actually like to make bottles over the course of a day for both singleton and twins. So let's get the results of timing. I did this test by setting first setting the Barabi to 95 degrees, and then I would set it to two, four, six, and eight ounces. Eight is the maximum, one is the minimum, but the Baby Brezza does not have a one ounce option. So I just stuck with two so that we could kind of put the timing head to head and see which one is faster. So we did two, four, six, and eight ounces at 95 degrees to start. I made three bottles and timed each of them so that I could get the average time. So let's see what the times are. At 95 degrees for a two ounce bottle, it took an average of 9.8 seconds to brew. Next is the four ounce bottle. The four ounce bottle took an average of 16.4 seconds to brew. Next is the six ounce bottle, and that took an average of 23.1 seconds to brew. And finally, the eight ounce bottle took about 30 seconds to brew. So after I did the 95 degree test, I was a little curious to see if maybe a little bit hotter bottle would mean it would take a little bit longer to brew. So I moved the temperature up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, and then I did the test again. So for the two ounce bottle, the average was 9.4, which was less than the 95 degrees. So there's probably just some anomalies there. I would say for both temperatures, nine and a half seconds is about how long it would take to brew a two ounce bottle with the Barabi Smart Formula Maker. The four ounce bottle was at 17 and a half seconds. So about a second slower for 104 degrees. The six ounce bottle was at 23.4 five and that is pretty much the same as the 95 degree bottle and the eight ounce bottle was also 30 seconds so no negligible difference between the 95 degree and the 104 degree fahrenheit timing for making the bottles 
The next test was ease of setup. How easy was the Barabi Smart Formula Maker to set up and get ready to start making bottles? Well, I think once you know how to assemble it and disassemble it, it's super, super simple. It's very similar to the Baby Brezza uh, in the powder dispensing portion, a little bit different, but pretty similar. The water and the formula go in very, very easily. That was not hard at all. And the app that you have to download so that you can get the correct formula setting, it works fine. All in all, I mean, it's not like a super in-depth app, but it does what it's supposed to do. So that was great. The next test was cleaning. How easy or difficult was it to disassemble everything and get it clean? And also how much formula accumulation occurred over the course of a few days or a few weeks? So let's start with the funnel. The funnel on the Barabi Smart Formula Maker is is very simple and there is no requirement from the machine itself to change the funnel every certain amount of bottles. If you've ever used a Baby Brezza formula maker, you will know that on the Formula Pro Advanced, you have to change the funnel every four bottles which if you have a single tin, isn't that big of a deal. But for me, I had twins. So I bought like four extra funnels so that I wouldn't have to continuously clean all day long. I could just put one in and then I could deal with that at the end of the day. With the Barabi in the instructions, it says that you need to clean the funnel after every bottle, which I was kind of put off by because that's a lot of work. But after using it, I, I see they're just putting it that in there as a disclaimer. You don't have to clean the funnel after every single bottle. You just do whatever works for you. I made like five bottles and then I checked what the inside looked like and there was barely any accumulation. I ended up making like 25 to 30 bottles while I was doing my timing tests without cleaning it. And yeah, there was a little bit of buildup, but it came off really easily. It was, it was actually pretty great. I prefer this funnel over the Baby Brezza funnel, just for the fact that I don't have to change it. The machine isn't making me change it every four bottles. As far as taking apart everything and cleaning it, super, super simple. You just have to remember to spin that little top part clockwise, loosen that up, and then it comes right apart. Nothing too complicated there. And I did not notice any accumulation of formula of like hardened formula on the bottom of that spinning plate for the baby Brezza. Every once in a while, I would notice that there were these hard, almost like coins of formula on the bottom. I'll show it on the screen right now. And that I had to clean off. Otherwise it would make the baby Brezza run incorrectly. After using the Barabi for two weeks, that never happened. Finally, let's talk about these real world simulations that I put together. So I did two. I wanted to simulate what it was like to feed one baby over the course of three days. So I figured six, six ounce bottles per day for three days at different times of the day, not all at once, you know, just in the morning, afternoon, evening, right before bed, just to see how it would really work in the real world. And then I did that exact same test, except I did 12 bottles in one day, 12 six ounce bottles in you know, one day, so three days of that. And all in all, test went very, very smoothly. I think I cleaned the funnel after the end of each day, not a ton of accumulation. Bottles came out super easy. One thing I did notice is if you don't use the Barabi for very long and then you go to turn it on, you press the bottle button, it kind of wakes up. And then you're gonna see an alert on the screen that says C-L-E, like clean. So when you see that, you're going to press this button right down here in the bottom left-hand corner. That's where you're picking your powder concentration typically, but when that C-L-E comes up on the screen, you just press that and it expels like an ounce of water just kind of, I guess, priming the system. And then you go in and you press your start button or, or you adjust your volume and then you do it. But after you figured out that that's what you needed to do, super, super easy. All in all, I brewed the six bottles per day for three days very easily. And same with the 12 bottles per day. I did not run into any issues and it works really well. Now let's take a look at the Barabi and the Baby Brezza side by side. Each of them has a distinct look, but pretty similar for a formula maker. Let's run down the list so we can compare the two. 
As far as timing goes, the baby Brezza wins for every test that I did. It is a little bit faster than the Barabi. For the Baby Brezza, those numbers are 7.4 seconds for a two ounce bottle. For a four ounce bottle, it is 12.8 seconds. For a six ounce bottle, it is 18 seconds. For an eight ounce bottle, it is 23.4 seconds. So this one takes the cake as far as timing goes. As far as formula capacity, the Barabi can hold 400 grams or 14.1 ounces, and the Baby Brezza can hold 600 grams or 20 ounces. This is the Wi-Fi version. So for the regular version, I believe it's pretty similar as far as powder capacity. Moving on to volume sizes. What size bottles can you make with these devices? The Barabi, you can make any size from one to eight ounces or 30 to 240 milliliters. And with the Baby Brezza, you've got anywhere from two to 10 ounces or 60 to 295 milliliters. Let's move on to temperature. The Barabi has six temperature settings. As far as the Baby Brezza, you have three temperature settings. You have room temperature, body temperature, and slightly warmer than body temperature. Those are your three options. This one, as far as temperatures go, you've got the 95 and the 104 are going to be good for brewing bottles. And then all the rest of them will be good for a variety of other tasks. You could make a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, any application where you're going to need hot water. This will also do that. Whereas this one is strictly for making bottles. Although both do have water settings, so you can get water out of both of them. This one just has hotter water options. As far as having plus and minus buttons, this was something that I didn't realize that I needed. The Barabi does have plus and minus buttons, so you can go forward or backwards when you are going through the volume sizes, the temperature sizes when you're going through to adjust the powder. Whereas this one, you have to cycle through all the way again. So you would just hit temp and that will go all the way up and then it'll start over at the bottom. Or if you're hitting ounce, it'll just cycle through two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then back to two. You cannot go backwards. That can be annoying sometimes. I know that's a small, Thing, but having the plus and minus button just saves a little bit of time and I liked that. Let's move into special alerts. For the Barabi, you're going to see special alerts. They're little tiny red lights and they show up right in here. And there are four of them. You have low water, lid open, no funnel, and no bottle. And when you put a bottle in, hear that beep? I can't see. It beeps when you take a bottle out and when you put a bottle in. The Baby Brezza has its own alerts as well. We've got a no bottle light here. It's illuminated green. I will show a close up of that. It comes on and off when you have a bottle. Neither of them will brew if there's not a bottle underneath. This also has low water, lid open, no funnel and change funnel. And you are going to see all of the alerts right here on this little screen. If you have the Wi-Fi version, there's gonna be a little light right here that tells you if it's connected to Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi version basically just means that you can brew bottles through the app and you can brew them from anywhere in the house. So this needs to be connected to your own Wi-Fi in order to do that. It is actually pretty cool. As far as the inner workings, like inside the powder containers of both, they are remarkably similar and they're equally easy to assemble and disassemble and to clean. Moving into the app, both apps are kind of eh. So the Barabi is strictly to look up your powder settings. And for the Brezza, if you have the Wi-Fi version, you can also brew a bottle through the app. But other than that, you're also just looking up your powder settings for the app. I tested six different formulas with both of them. Now I used the Baby Brezza for a little over nine months with my twins. The Barabi, I just tested six different formulas with it during the two week testing period. So I have more experience with the Brezza. That being said, I did run some of these formulas, the three specialty formulas that I had never run through this before so that it, they got, you know, a similar testing. Both of them did well. I noticed a little bit of settling with the AR formula. You kind of had to shake it up a little bit more, but that's pretty much standard for both of the formula makers. Both of them, I could look up all of the formulas that I tested through their apps. So that was good. And all in all, I think unless you're using like a crazy rare, specially, you know, formulated kind of thing, you're gonna be able to find your powder settings either in the Barabi or the Baby Brezza app. 
Let's talk about looks. This is very subjective. So we've got the Barabi. It's a little bit more of a bubble shape, kind of modern. This only comes in white. Very fresh, very clean. Looks wise, I think this would look great in any kitchen. Moving on to the Brezza, you know, it's different, but it's also nice. This is sleek. It's a little bit taller. This one comes in multiple colors. You can get the regular version in white or rose gold, and you can get the black, I believe, in just the Wi-Fi version. They also have a mini version of this. So, you know, lots of different sizes, colors, shapes, whereas this one is just in white. But what do you think? Which one do you like better? Let me know in the comments below. Which one, just looks wise, do you think looks better? Let's talk about my complaints with each of them. We'll start with the Barabi. So my first complaint is that when this has not brewed a bottle in a while, I think it's after like eight or 10 hours, maybe a little bit more, when you wake it up from its sleep mode that it kind of goes into, you have to clear out a little bit of water. A message comes up here on this LCD screen that says CLE. In order to clear that, you have to press this little button right here, which is your powder setting button. And about an ounce of water comes out and kind of like primes the system. After that, you're good to go. At first, I had no idea what that was and I couldn't find it in the instructions. It wasn't clearly marked in the instructions that that was something you had to do. So I just kind of had to press some buttons and figure it out. Now that I know what it is, whatever, who cares? You turn it on, you press that button, it clears an ounce of water and then you're good to brew. But I think initially that could throw some people off. My next complaint is that this will let you brew a bottle even if it does not have enough water in the reservoir to brew that specific size of bottle. I was testing both of the devices. I had them head to head, pressed start at the same time to brew an eight ounce bottle. And for some reason, the Barabi finished sooner, which I knew it wouldn't do because this is about seven seconds slower brewing an eight ounce bottle. So I looked over and it had only brewed a six ounce bottle and it was blinking that it was out of water. I don't think it should make you a bottle if it doesn't have enough water to do so. It can throw you off and then it can also throw off the concentrations of formula. So that is something that I did not like about the Barabi. It is a bit slow. I wouldn't say it's a snail. It gets the job done, but when you compare it to the Brezza, it is a little bit slower, especially at those larger volumes. And my final complaint with the Barabi is you cannot see when you're low on powder. So the powder viewing windows are on the sides and I think it looks sleek, but because it's not right in front of your face, you could just totally forget to put powder in. It happens all the time. So that I think, I wouldn't say it's a design flaw. I think that was just a design choice on their part, but I like to have that more front and center like I'm used to with the Baby Brezza. You can see very, very clearly when you need to refill the powder. But you know, it's not all puppies and rainbows with the Baby Brezza. I have some complaints about this device as well. First off, you have to change the funnel after every four bottles. It will not allow you to brew a bottle if you do not change it. Now, it's kind of arbitrary because you can just pull the funnel out and just stick it right back in. It doesn't know that you've put a new one in or if you haven't. But just that act of stopping and having to do that, it makes you lose some time. I know that sounds dumb, but I have twins and brewing bottles for them, you know, especially in the middle of the night, you know, time is of the essence. So that was a complaint. I ended up buying four additional funnels for a total of five so that I could make bottles all day long and not have to wash the funnels if I didn't feel like it. There are just some days when I don't want to do dishes. So. That I think is a major, major complaint with the Baby Brezza. The Brezza only has three temperature settings. This is not a device you're gonna be using to brew drinks for yourself. You can get water, but the hottest it's going to be is slightly warmer than body temperature. My final major complaint about the Baby Brezza is the lack of a plus and minus button. If you go past the ounce size that, let's say you wanna make a six ounce bottle and you accidentally go to seven, you have to go all the way through. Sounds nitpicky, but it is annoying. And I didn't even realize, well, I knew I hated it when I, when I got it, but I didn't realize that, oh, there's another way. This one has a plus and minus button. So if I go trying to brew a six ounce bottle, I go to seven, I can just go bloop, right back down to six. 
How nice is that? I don't think it would be hard to incorporate, although this space is not crowded, but it would be if you added a plus and minus, but I think that would be something that Brezza could add to make their device better. But here's the most important part, I think. What about pricing? So there's a range of prices, always. Prices are always fluctuating, but for the Barabi, right now it's listed at $229 on Amazon. There is a $30 coupon currently that you can clip and so that would make this $199. There's only the one version. If you go to the Brezza right now, the white version is $192. Again, this fluctuates. The list for that particular product is $229. And then you go up to about $300 for the black Wi-Fi version. And I believe the rose gold was 216. So you've got a range. Oh, and also if you wanted the mini, there is a mini version of the Baby Brezza that's listed at $179.99 right now. So you're looking at anywhere between $180 to $300 for the Brezza, depending on the version you would like. And this one, you're going anywhere from $199 to $230, depending on what sales are available. The Brezza is a trusted brand. I think it has over 5,000 reviews on Amazon. It's been around for a long time. The Barabi, as of recording, I think has about 600 reviews, all of them very positive. They both have four and a half stars out of five stars on Amazon. So both of them are, are well reviewed. This is just kind of a newer entry to the, you know, formula making world. You know, is Barabi better than the Brezza? I would say it's at the very least equal to the Brezza. So I think it really just kind of boils down to what are you looking for? Which one will look better in your kitchen? How many bottles are you trying to make in a day? Would you also like to make some hot tea and not have to use the microwave? All in all, I think the Barabi is a very high quality product. It is at least equal to the Brezza. Is it better? It has some features that are better, some features that are worse. I really think that they are on equal ground. I would feel very comfortable recommending either of these devices to you for your household. I'm going to link all the versions of these devices, just the one of the Barabi, and I think you know four or five versions of the Brezza in the description below so you can take a look. I hope that this review helped you. It was very, very fun to test this guy and to put them head to head, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'm very responsive to my comments, and I'll see you next time.